Hello there, and welcome back to my Minecraft Playtime series. And as you can see, we finally got some walls on the structure, albeit a little bit plain. One, one thing I like to do when I'm building something and I'm not entirely sure how it's going to end up looking is I want to just kind of get the structure up. So I've got, you know, spruce plank walls and just some uh, normal brick roof here and now we can at least kind of see what the interior is going to look like and what i want to do today is like i want to kind of actually start building in the interior not you know completely all the way but i want to at least get an area where i can store my stuff and i want to get the beginnings of the library all figured out one of the other cool things that i want to do with our interior is since this is a library i and I'm going to be using it quite a bit. I want to try to keep the number of non-functional books to a minimum, if that makes sense. So we're not going to be using too many normal bookshelves. We're going to be using a lot of the chiseled bookshelves and then filling those with the books that we get from our villagers, our librarians. So yeah, I'm going to spend a while working on and figuring out the interior. But yeah, I think that, you know, it, it seems a little... Like, the space is kind of cramped up here right now. But we're also going to have, you know, an upper level. We'll have a lower level. And then we're even going to have the basement, which is going to be a lot larger. And that's where I'm going to keep all my storage. So we might even start with the basement. So first things first, we've got to dig out all of this area around here to create the room for all of our interior to go. Alright, so we're a decent way into this, and the, the dirt isn't too bad because of my efficiency 5 shovel, but even with efficiency 5, I mean, for a little bit of mining, this is fine, but this gets really, really tedious really fast. So I think I'm going to pause what I'm doing here and go get myself a beacon. So much easier to get around now that I've got these rockets. This is going to be much, much better, much, much safer too. Fire resistance and firework rocket, I don't think I'm going to be dying anytime soon. Now watch me die. But anyway, I think this is going to be my home for a while. I'm going to see if I can get, let's let's say at least 12. I'm going to go for at least 12 wither skeleton skulls. And then we can make four beacons. So, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then we can get back to work. Remember how I said it would be impossible for me to die? Yeah, it wasn't impossible. All right. This is fine. All right, I managed to find everything except for my sword. And maybe I lost a few other things, but I, I got most of everything. But I definitely lost my sword. So I've got to go back to the gold farm, get some XP and remake the sword, but could have been a lot worse. I'm not salty. So my recent misfortune has inspired me to kind of go through and get more gear and I got a whole bunch of projectile for protection books from a new villager that I just got and I'm gonna get a set of projectile protection armor because I don't have any of that on my current armor and I'm getting destroyed by arrows so yeah, I'm going to go through and maybe I'll even, I, I got a couple sets. I've got like protection for fire protection. I'll get some projectile, maybe some blast protection. Then I'll have like a set of every armor for every occasion and it'll be great. So yeah, I'm going to work on that for a little bit and then I'll finally go back and get those wither skeleton skulls. Now we're talking. Finally. Just killed a big group of four and we actually got two of them, which is awesome because I feel like I've killed so many and now we finally have three. I think my desire to get 12 is a little bit too ambitious, so let's just try for six and we'll call it good. All right, I've got four more carrots left and I just need one more skull. I'm really hoping that I can get it done before I have to go back for food. Boop. 
We got it. I didn't see it there on the ground, but we got it. That's six. With two carrots to spare. Easy. Not even close. Alright, let's get out of here. It's time for a mass killing so that we can move our cow farm to somewhere less occupied by our new library. So... Alright, it's time to kill the wither. So unfortunately for this wither fight, I had my mic turned off and I didn't realize it until after the fight. But fortunately things went according to plan for pretty much the first time ever. We, we decided to do it right over in the mining shaft that we made at the very very beginning of episode 1 but never actually used. And yeah, it was, it was pretty pretty simple fight. Just summoned him down here and attacked him with our sword until he died. Now that's what I'm talking about. So unfortunately I'm just I'm not totally happy with the way the roof looks. Not not only is it you know a little bit cramped on the interior but also even when you come outside I, I just feel like the roof looks a little bit off being only one block wide at the top so I'm thinking that I might just you know make that block at the top just instead of being one wide I'll make it three wide so yeah it, it'll be a bit of work but I think it'll be worth it in the end yeah and even from the top I just think that if I widen this just a tiny little bit, it'll make it look so much more, you know, full and a little bit less sharp at the top. So yeah, let's uh, just rewind a little bit and then redo it. Yeah, I, I like that a lot better. Just gives it a tiny bit more depth and it, it just looks a little bit better. And I think just those two tiny blocks of additional room in here make it look so much more spacious. It gives me a lot more to work with like inside of this area, which I really like. All right, we've been at this for a while now and I'm feeling really, really thankful that I decided to get my, uh, my beacon going up. Um, I actually had to move it inside of the courtyard because out there wasn't quite close enough. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go maybe just a few more blocks deeper and then I'll also clear out inside there. And I might even clear out a little ways on the outside because of course our, our basement is gonna be quite a bit bigger. You know, this is this is the first time that I've ever done villager trading quite to this same extent, and it's just so useful. I I mean, I knew it was, but even even just using this experience to mend my pickaxe really close to home and going through all my farmers is enough to get it pretty much to full. And I'm not even getting all the XP from these because if I go behind here and hold my shovel then I actually get a whole bunch more. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I just designed it wrong or something, but we've got this little workaround right now where we can go back behind. And we're back to digging. All right, we've got a big area, big enough area to fly in down here. And now we just gotta take out this big center chunk. All right, we might dig out here on the sides just a little bit to give us a little bit more room, but I think this should be plenty of room for our storage system down here. Uh, so now I think I'll just add in some floors up here to start giving us, you know, the semblance of the interior shape, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Now obviously this spruce wood isn't going to be like actually part of the floor in the end and same with the walls but I really like to use this spruce wood even though I have some cheaper stuff like you know dirt or stone that I could use simply because this spruce kind of gives it the feel of like actually being part of a house. So now that I have this spruce here and it, it kind of has that feel to it I can start to imagine you know bookshelves along the walls you know, maybe like some little study areas, some little trinkets on the side, you know, just all sorts of little things. So 
I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop down some trees because I'm going to need a whole bunch of wood, not just for making bookshelves up here, but also for our storage system that's going to be down below here. So we're going to need a ridiculous amount of wood. So I'll get to chopping and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, a little more than three double chests, although all of these woods I'm gonna try not to use. I mean, I don't have too much of the nether woods and uh, mangrove logs are really, really, really annoying to get a hold of. So I'm gonna say hold on to all of those. Plus I'll need them for other things. Now I imagine that I'll probably need a lot more even than this for you know, like the chests and all of the bookshelves, but I think this is enough to get started and I'm really itching to get started. So let's go get to it. All right, so for in here, I'm thinking I wanna have bookshelves lining both of the walls. I'll leave, you know, room for the windows and maybe like some chairs or something in here, but I, I want the bookshelves to be lining either wall and then I want a line of bookshelves down the middle as well which I think should leave room for about a two wide walkway on either side which I think should be enough so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some bookshelves and we'll see how it looks after that something kind of like this so now we've we've got a whole bunch of bookshelves in here and of course it looks really plain right now because they're not filled with books, but eventually these will all be filled up with our enchanted book. And you know, there's a few things that I probably need to tweak. Like I, I don't think I want to have this be a straight line of bookshelves all the way down. I want to kind of introduce a little bit of variation throughout and we can have like some, some desks in here, or maybe I can uh, leave the corners of the room open to put something like a big room with like lots of tables and stuff like that inside. I'm also kind of thinking about what I'll do with the roof or I guess the ceiling and then the floor. I think even just adding the bookshelves really adds a lot of life in here. So I was thinking a little bit about the lighting for inside of the library and I think I kind of want to just hide as much of it as I can under the floor so we can do the old like glowstone under a carpet trick. So I came to the nether, we'll get some glowstone, maybe some shroom lights and might even get a little bit of this nether wood while we're at it because I'm thinking about possibly using this in the ceiling. And grab a little bit of moss carpet. Grab some green terracotta. All right, we'll just pop in a glowstone block here and there along the path. And then stick a moss carpet on top. And then we'll fill in the rest with green terracotta. I think a, a green pathway is going to go well with kind of the red that we have over here and I think I kind of want to continue a little more red in here so I I think it'll look pretty cool kind of just contrasting a little bit and then I think I'll just uh continue this pattern onto here and then right here in the middle I'll just continue the mangrove and spruce combo that we have over here to do the ceiling I think then mix in just a little bit of crimson with the mangrove wood just to give it a little bit of texture and we have something like that, which I think it looks pretty good. Maybe I can switch out the moss for green carpet. We'll see. Uh, this might be a little bit too bright in comparison to the terracotta. I'm, I'm going to add in like some chairs and stuff here. And I want to, I think I'm kind of thinking about doing something here in the center. I'm just not entirely sure what it is yet. So, you know, there's, there's still a lot of little things to work out, but I, I think overall it looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll kind of keep fiddling with this for a little bit and then eventually it'll start looking really good you know one thing that i did forget to do is i need to put some stairs in here because i need a way to get down to that second floor so i'm thinking maybe i'll put like a staircase in either corner and possibly something in the middle too it's always nice to make things as accessible as possible but before we can make a staircase we have to make a floor first now that we have a bit of a floor in here, I've been thinking about, you know, how we're going to do our stairs. And one of my goals with this building, I mean, you can kind of see with all the entrances and stuff, not so much on this side, but eventually once I get to detailing, there will be lots of doorways and stuff like that. I want to keep this building pretty porous so that, you know, you can pretty much go in or out anywhere you want. 
And part of that I think will be having lots and lots of staircases. So I'm probably going to have quite a few. Uh, definitely one in this corner, one over in that corner. I'm thinking about just doing something like a, like a glow vine or something like that growing through the middle here that you can go up or down. I, I got a couple different ideas, but I'm going to mess around with those and kind of see what I come up with. So here in the corner, I'm probably just going to do something simple like this so you can just walk down and it's, it's not too big a deal. One thing that I'm thinking about, though, is we've got this pattern on the floor up here. And if I were to hide this, I mean, even if we just use slabs which are not slabs uh trap doors which is you know a little bit repetitive maybe then it still gives us kind of a lower ceiling than i'd like so i'm thinking i might just get a get some stairs and make this floor just one lower that way we have a little bit of room above us kind of like this and then we'll just put a well i guess i can't really do it from this angle but if i go down and place these blocks like this, then you can kind of see what I mean. So I'll, I'll make this whole floor just one lower like this. Um, something else that I'm thinking about is, you know, I've got these two wings on either side and I kind of want to make them a little bit different instead of having everything be perfectly symmetrical. So I'm thinking along this, this side, I'll have, you know, like some study rooms here on this side. I'll make some windows here and we can have like some little study rooms here as well. And then on the other side, we can just kind of continue the bookshelves kind of like we're doing right here. And it should look pretty cool. Another cool little trick you can use to make rooms feel a little bit bigger, because, you know, when you walk in here, it feels kind of cramped like this, is you can put trap doors around here and just make the walls entirely out of trap doors. And then when you get rid of this inner block, you're left with a still enclosed area that's the that's taking up the same space on the outside but you have so much more room so yeah look at that we've got so much more space than we had and we're still taking up the exact amount of space that we were on the outside i mean we we can't place blocks here now which is you know unfortunate but i think it's worth it to give us you know this kind of nice feeling on the inside but i'll keep working on this little by little you know making little details like these rooms you know we'll get some nice little furniture and all sorts of decorations in here but i'm gonna work on that kind of little by little as i go uh, and then i'll give you updates as i get more and more done but for now i kind of wanted to take a really short break from this and all my armor is still diamond so i think i'm gonna go back through and i'm gonna see if i can get some netherite upgrades for my armor so i'm gonna head to the nether and get to mining for netherite. Just creating my little base of operations down here, and we found our first netherite. All right, so we've got our base of operations all set up down here. We've got, hopefully, enough chests to get us through for quite a while. And now I'm gonna start mining for netherrack. Oh, this is a really annoying place for this to spawn. <laughs> um, is it even worth it? Sure. All right, we got our singular netherite from that. Well, it took some doing, but here we go. We've got 65 ancient debris. Not a bad start. You guys lost? Wow, we've got a veritable infestation over here. All right, there's our netherite ingots. And just for fun. Boom, we got a netherite block that we're immediately gonna destroy and used to upgrade our equipment but i feel like i remember in the new update they changed it so that you have to have like a special item to upgrade your equipment because it used to be you could just use the smithing table but i'm pretty sure that you need a special item and yeah smithing template because even if i put this stuff in here it says i need a smithing template which i feel like i'm pretty sure you get those from a bastion so i guess we're going back to the nether Yippee.
All right, well, we've been traveling for about 2,000 blocks and still absolutely no sign of a bastion. Starting to get a little bit annoying. Unfortunately, I think I'm pretty much at the point where if I keep going, then I'm not going to have enough rockets to get back, which is probably not a point that I want to cross too badly. So I'll go a little bit farther on foot, but I think if I have to use another rocket, then I'm going to have to head back and get more rockets and maybe go in the opposite direction this time. We found one. I kind of just went off a little bit to the side of where I was before and we found one. So let's hope that this uh, smithing template isn't incredibly rare because I've never actually had to go and look for one before. But yeah, let's let's do this. I think maybe the easiest thing would be to go up to the top probably. So let's start at the top and work our way down. All right, we're inside. Okay, all right, we can see inside. I think I better put this on just in case. I think I wanna make sure I have an easy way out if something goes bad. And we can start sniping people from up here. Oh, there's a chest right there. Well, I don't see anybody. I see one. Hello. Sorry. I almost feel bad for him. But not bad enough to stop doing it. Alright, now where are these chests? I've found one chest so far. So spawner down there. Alright, here's another chest. If I go through this whole bastion and there's not a single smithing template, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Actually, incredibly sad. But maybe maybe they only spawn like in that central chest area. Another chest, and I think I've killed all of its guards, so that's good. Alright, come on. There's got to be a smithing template there in the middle. Hopefully people aren't, like, watching this and just thinking, like, oh, well, there's no smithing templates in this type of a bastion, you idiot. But there's got to be one there, right? There's there's no way there isn't. Netherite upgrade. That's it, right? I'm not taking the time to read it until I get out of here. I don't need that one. I don't. I don't know why I'm I'm wasting all this time trying to get gold. I've got so much gold in my, from my gold farm. All right, let's see. Smithing template, netherite upgrade. I'm like ninety percent sure this works. All right, I found more guys up there, so I think that probably means there's another chest. Um, I made a mistake. There were a lot of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so far away. That's going to be so annoying. Okay. That's fine. Wow, there were so many of them. Okay, um, well, on the bright side, I do have lots of extra armor and stuff. So I think I'll take some of this. You know, I, I'm just, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the end and get another, another elytra. Man, that is just such a pain. All right, well, I got work to do. Actually, I should probably go back and make sure that I have some firework rockets. That'll make it a lot easier for me to do stuff once I get there. Fireworks acquired, and we are heading back. You know, in frustrating times like these, I 
I just like to try and think on the positive side, you know? I mean, we're going to go to the end. We're going to get another pair of wings, maybe a few pairs of wings. We'll get a bunch of shulker boxes. And then by the time we go back and pick up all of our stuff, then we're going to have a lot more than we had when we left. So, you know, it's a, it's a roundabout way of doing it, but I'm just going to think of it as a net positive. I mean, from a certain point of view, I mean, you can almost even say that it's a good thing that I died, you know, because I, I never would have thought to do this otherwise. I mean, actually not, you know, the more I think about it, I'm, I'm actually really glad that I died. It's, this is going to be, this is going to be really good. In fact, actually, I think it's time that I let you in on a little secret. I, I actually intended to die there. Yeah, dying there was part of my plan. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're playing a game like this, you have to encourage yourself to do things that you don't want to do. And one of the things that I didn't want to do was go back to the end and do some end busting. So, you know, it just took a little bit of encouragement. But, you know, intentionally killing myself is, is going to really help me out. So, yeah, just just a little tip for anybody out there who is wondering. All right, we're back. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this one has an elytra in it. So I think I'm just going to keep walking. I think there's pretty much no way around it. We're going to have to cross this giant chasm unless we want to just run in the op. You know what? I'm just going to go in the opposite direction. This this mini chasm is doable. I'll, I'll, I'll bridge over this one. There's a mini one, which is not what I'm looking for. We found one. Now I just got to figure out how to get there. We did it. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so we have wings, which means the rest of this is going to be not nearly so unpleasant. All right, you know, I changed my mind. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go get our stuff. This is much better than the incredibly long walk I took to get over here. Maybe, maybe one more pair of wings. All right. Now we're out of here. Flying over the void, using my coordinates to get me there. All right, not so bad. We got our wings, now we can get through the nether, and then we've got our stuff. It's all gonna be very, very simple. You know, I didn't even consider the durability on my elytra. That might have been a bit of an oversight. There it is. I think it was up here. Oh, we found it. Oh, some of them are wearing my my gear. All right, well, that's that's fine. I think this time let's let's go up over the side. Be a, a tad bit more strategic about it. Payback. There we go. Give me my stuff back. I think we got everything. Steal all their stuff. Not not so much because I need it anymore, but because oh, music disc. But because it's it's more of a principle thing. I just. You know, they they took from me. Now I take from them. It's just it's just the way of the world. Now we head home. Found another bastion on my way back, right here. So it's a lot closer. And yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do it now. I I'm definitely not gonna do it now. But we've we've got this one noted for later. And we are back in our home sweet home. That was quite the the trial that we went through there, but we made it. We got all of our stuff, and we got the netherite template. So I'm gonna say that that was a win, and we even got 
an extra pair of, well, an extra spire armor and an extra elytra up here, plus the other one. So we've got three elytra now. So yeah, not too bad. Let's let's just upgrade our armor. Well, I just did a little research and I found out that in order to actually use this, we've got to spend diamonds. Or not to use it, but to upgrade it. Not to upgrade it either, but to uh, duplicate it. Duplicate is the word I'm looking for. So if we want to duplicate this, we need seven diamonds. And unfortunately, I do not have that many diamonds right now. So as much as I wanted to upgrade my armor, I don't think it's going to be possible right now. But regardless, I think this is where I'm going to have to end off today. Would have really liked to get more work done on the interior, but... Well, some sometimes stuff happens and you have to spend, you know, all of a, an entire day getting your stuff back. So, well, it happens, but... I'm still really, really happy with the with the beginnings of the interior that we have going in here. And I'm just so excited to see how, you know, the other floors go and also to get our storage system going. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I I hope you enjoyed my misfortune. So, yeah. Bye.